Hello everybody, how's it going? So before we get started on today's board repair video, I'd just like to announce that store.rossmangroup.com is open for business once again. That's right. In order for us to stay afloat, in order for these employees to get paid, we need to sell gallons upon gallons of solder paste and flux every single day or they will literally starve to death. I will ensure of it. So if you do not want to see that happen, please do consider heading over to store.rossmangroup.com for some genuine, authentic flux and solder paste. That's it for today, and as always, I hope Chris teaches you something, because he's sure better at this job than I am at this point. Hi everybody, how's it going? Right now I'm in the middle of data recovery, which I want to show you. It's going to take some, some time, so I decide to make another video for you about 1990 this time so let's check what the board does uh, and uh, let's see let's see what we can do for that poor a 1990 customer said it doesn't turning on at all for me it takes five volts and uh, oh it was five volts before. Right now it's 20 volts and 100 milliamps. So let's check the rails one by one. So like you know, the first most important is PP, PP bus. Twelve point six. SSD is 2.5, that's okay. Voltages from Ocarina 1.8 is okay. Oh, wait. Something gets hot here. Okay, let's... Actually, it burnt my finger. Mm, I have to take my thermal camera. Okay, so let's check what gets hot. Yeah, it's something on the other side of the SSD. I hope it's not the SSD. T2 gets hot, okay. Let's see. Let's see what is going on here. So it wasn't that cap. That cap it's it's a P bus probably. Yeah. It's not shorted. Probably it was the other side. Oh yeah. This is it. Look. Let's see what rail was there. Yeah, it's 2.5 NAND SSD1. Why I measured uh, that before it was good, 2.5? Because the 2.5 I measured on the other side. So we have two rails like that. Do you see? It's 2.5 um, SSD zero here. And on the other side, we have a, another, um, another power IC with 2.5 volts, which is here. So this cap was short, is shorted. Let's remove it and let's see what the, what the board's gonna do. I hope it's only that cap. Okay, let's remove that cap.
the data recovery which I'm doing here it's gonna take more time than I thought it's 15 hours right now Yeah, it's 15 hours. Speed is 150 kilobytes per second. The SSD is fine here because the customer really wants his data. Cap, so I'm gonna cover it like you can see. I covered the number of the coin. I take the cap from the donor. Check if the short is still there. No, it's not. Okay. to replace the port.
Vanewald. 20 volts, 50 milliamps. Okay. I hope the port is in uh, recovery mode or or the charging port. Let's get the issue here. Charging cord, but so the next thing to do here, we have to check if the if the teacher is in. Uh, Recovery mode. You have to always use that port. You have to restart the software here. like it's not in uh, oh see no, you can see it you have to believe me it's in the recovery mode so right now we're gonna put the drive into the housing uh, with a good battery with a good trackpad keyboard and uh, LCD And we're gonna flush the T2 a few more. So guys, always after issues with um, Karina with um, 2.5 IC, if you have uh, issues with the um, board after replacement or uh, um, after work in that area like 20 volts and 70 milliamps, 50 milliamps or it's gonna be jumping to 100 milliamps then it drops down to 50 uh, you have to always check if it's uh, in recovery mode don't um, search anything on the board just take another notebook and plug it in and check so from the menu here, you can't see it. From the menu here, you have to pick advanced, revive device. I'm gonna restart my host machine, sometimes it does help, yeah, so let's do that again, advanced, revive, so the progress bar right now past that spot where it stopped before.
Ja, a pologo. We have to wait still. This is a really good sign. Apple logo. Crash because of the previous issues with the cap. Apple logo. And uh, login screen. So, everything is fine with the device, it boots to the Apple logo and, yeah, turn it off. And we have another happy customer. Thank you guys for today and like always, I hope you learned something.